For these children in rural Babay village, an education is the first step towards getting out of poverty. They're among the poorest people in China. But despite a law making education compulsory for all, only a few of the students here are girls. Like all the other women of her family, 14-year-old Yang Shu Chuan has never been to school. Instead, she works the fields with this water buffalo for 15 hours a day. I wish I could go to school and then make some money so I could send my little brother and sister to go to school too. But Yang's grandmother says that's not really an option for her, and life is just too difficult for women here. Traditionally, boys have always been preferred, so they get the education. And when the time comes, the boys can migrate to the cities to find better paying jobs, leaving the women behind to tend to the families and to the farms. According to the government, 99.79% of all children who are meant to be in school are. But that figure doesn't seem to reflect the reality, particularly in rural China, where mixed classrooms like this one are a rarity. There, boys and girls are still locked in traditional roles. The law making it compulsory for girls to get an education was supposed to address deep-seated prejudice against them and break stereotypes. The biggest consequence of the girls not going to school is that the thought and the practice will pass on to the next generations. The lack of education and poverty will continue to exist in the family. However, if a girl goes through proper education, there will be a positive influence in the whole family. Yang Shu Chuan's dream is part of a greater aspiration for China as a whole. But there's no breaking the cycle for many here as widespread poverty continues to make it difficult to leave traditional roles behind. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Beijing.